my name is Robert and welcome to my video version of my quad project. Uh, if you've looked at it online you've basically seen it all uh, but there's one thing that I haven't placed on there yet and I plan to in the near future is uh, an optional boom design so that you can adjust the elements uh, further apart a little bit closer to see if you can get a little bit more uh, forward gain and uh, increase the rejection coming off the back. It's not something that everybody wants to do and I've done a lot of reading about it. They say it doesn't make that much difference but I like to tinker and I think there's probably some people out there that uh, would like to tinker a little bit too. Uh, another thing that's uh, because this is a fixed polarity uh, by having the uh, adjustable boom you can swivel the boom 90 degrees and uh, change your polarity from vertical to horizontal very easily and all you got to do is loosen up one of the hose clamps and tighten it back up when you've got it set where you want it. Uh, just to let you take a look at this, this is the first design here. This is the one that has the fixed 60 inch boom. It's made out of inch and a half uh, PVC pipe and it has the five way connector on the end. Uh, it's got a bolt to hold it in place in case you need to remove one end to do some work on it. I made that rather than gluing it. Uh, so you're pretty much familiar with that. But for the people who want to do the uh, adjustable boom, sometimes trial and error, uh, it takes a little bit to get where you want to be. And the project, I, I made it on a PVC so that Anybody and everybody could have access to it. You don't have to try to find a place where you get parts and they tell you you've got to have a hundred dollar order to get them. So I looked up a lot of links and they're on the website. Uh, but I'm having a problem with the adjustable part of it because it doesn't seem to be PVC pipe that will telescope together and fit properly. So I've been working on it. So I'll get this one out of the way and I'll show you what the, the next design on the list was. I took a look at all the dimensions in the charts and I found out that there's a what's called a schedule 80 rather than a schedule 40 and the inside diameter uh, is thicker and I took a look at the inch and a half compared to the uh, the outside and the inside of the schedule 80 and there's supposed to be 13 thousandths clearance so I went ahead and ordered the uh, extra piece the larger piece of uh, two inch diameter schedule 80 and when I got it it wouldn't fit together and I was a little bit disappointed but uh, I checked out a little bit and I thought well it isn't that much bigger uh, so maybe if I took it to a machine shop and I had it uh, sheened down they put it on a lathe for me and they turned it down and it does work and it fits very nicely but the problem is the average person probably doesn't have access to a machine shop and it would just be too much work to really do that. So that kind of stripped that design out. And then I got looking at it a little bit closer and I, I checked a lot of places looking for a thin walled PVC that would go over the top of it so to make up the difference so I could uh, clamp it in place and basically you can see that there is quite a little bit of a gap there between the two and there's no way that you're going to be able to compress that with a clamp and make it fit properly because it might fit here but at the very end where the, the other piece ends up it would be flopping around on you. It's not very secure. So I, I did a little bit more digging so I'll get this out of the way and I'll show you what I came up with. I found the PVC pipe that they use in uh, commercial vacuum cleaning systems that they pipe in through people's homes was about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And the size for the external and the internal part of the, the uh, smaller pipe or the thin wall pipe was just about the same. But I took a chance and I ordered it. And I tried to take and fit one piece over the other, and it just, it was just too tight. But then I had another brainstorm, and brainstorms is what it's all about, that maybe I could cause it to go over the top of the PVC pipe. 
And so I, I took and I, let me just get this out of here for you, whoops. Okay, I took and I beveled the beginning edge of it so it would make like a little ramp. And then I took the smaller piece of a thin wall pipe and it started to go over. So I knew that it would be a, a doable thing. So I attempted to hammer it in. Big mistake. Uh, that didn't work. It actually caused the, the thin wall PVC uh, to start to buckle a little bit because I wasn't hitting it square on. So then I finally decided that if I had equal pressure all the way around and slowly put some pressure down on it a little bit at a time and also put some lubrication on it, that it would work. And I, I went through the process. Uh, I picked up a small, what they call a hydraulic bottle jack, a couple of cement blocks that I'll show you later, and uh, it worked fine. I was able to jack that thing in. To, it has to go on 20 inches to make it stable enough inside and uh, enough outside you can adjust it. And pretty much, it turned out just the way I wanted it. It fits nicely, whoops, wrong end. It, it, there's a little bit of a gap, but not that much, but we can move this thing in and out about three inches either way. So we've got exactly what I wanted. I put an inch and a half slot, four positions on the larger two inch, and some hose clamps. When I tighten this up, that thing is rock solid. And like I say, you can use it for uh, adjusting the distance because it will give you a, uh, a better forward gain if you peek it in and a better rejection, but it also might make your SWR climb a little bit, so you kind of have to take a look at that. Uh, and if you find that it's, that you find a setting that you like, but the SWR is high, there are a lot of antenna tuners out there uh, that you could hook your coax to a bed spring and adjust it so that the SWR is fine. So uh, I don't think that's a real issue, but if you like to play with these things and peek them in, I think that probably this is the way to go, and it, it's not that much more money for the extra two inch and the smaller uh, thin wall, uh, and if you like to play, and you like to get a little bit more gain out of your quad, and, and I enjoy my quad to no end, uh, I think that this is the way to go. And I will show you uh, in the next episode of uh, my quad project that uh, how I actually jacked that thing and get it to work. So uh, we'll talk to you later. See you in the next episode.